Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider one of the very important properties of uh, DFT, that is uh, Parseval theorem. As per the definition, if I consider summation n equal to zero to n minus one x star of n into y of n is equal to 1 divided by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of k into y of k. So this is the definition of Parseval's theorem. So this is there in uh, time domain and this signal, uh, the result is there in frequency domain. The task is to prove this. So first we'll consider how to prove it. So let me begin this with the proof. To prove this, I have to consider the definition of uh, IDFT. So let me consider that. So I'll write from IDFT, inverse DFT, we have. So I'll consider the expression for that. X of n is equal to 1 divided by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n to the power minus k into n. So this is the definition of uh, IDFT. I'll consider that and uh, and I'll prove uh, the Parseval theorem. To prove that, uh, let me consider this expression. I need summation x star of n y of n. And if I look here, I have only x of n. I don't have x star of n. x star of n is nothing but the complex conjugate of x of n. Uh, what I have to do now, I have to take complex conjugates. So I have to take complex conjugate on both sides. So let me begin with that. Taking complex conjugates on both sides. If I take that, I would get this x of n will become x star of n 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k, its complex conjugate, this will become x star of k. Hope you are following it. Wn to the power minus kn will become Wn to the power plus kn after taking complex conjugates. Is that uh, is that fine? Now, what I have to do is, I have got x star of n, but I need uh, y of n and the summation. But it is not there, I have to take it. So, taking or considering summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of n on both sides. So consider that. Uh, let's see what is going to happen. So if I take that, I I'm going to get summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n into y of n is equal to so I'll just take this summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. Here I have uh, 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of k wn to the power kn into y of n. So this is what uh, I got now. Uh, if I consider LHS, this is what I wanted and this is what I got. Onto RHS, I just have to rearrange the terms and let's see. Uh, do I get summation x star of k, y of k? So re I'll just write uh, rearranging the terms. So let's see what we are going to get. Rearranging the terms. Rearranging the terms. So let's see that. Uh, keep the LHS as it is. That is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n into y of n equal to. So now I would write uh, whatever uh, this 1 by n. I want it in the proof so I'll take it out. It's already there. And I also want summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of k. 
so this also I want and this is also there and just uh, write it as it is what I'm left with now I'm left with summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 here I have now y of n w n to the power k into n now I need to check what this what this expression is going to be so this is nothing but it looks like the equation of a DFT DFT of what y of n and that is equal to y of k so that's what it is so that is what I wanted and that's what we got it now so I'll just write 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of k so here I would get the DFT which is equal to y of k did we get that yes so I'll just write LHS part also summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n into y of n so this is what the Parsifal theorem is and this is what we proved as well and next what I do is I'll consider the corollary of that so I'll just consider the corollary I'll consider one more proof uh, but that can be done very easily so in uh, what I do is if y of n is equal to x of n what happens so in the in the expression here I want to put y of n is equal to x of n so what are, what are we going to get so let's see that for that summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n so now in place of y of n I am writing x of n so what is that uh, equal to be so that is going to be summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n into x of n is nothing but magnitude of x of n square so that's what it is that is equal to what on to LHS that also I need to consider which is equal to 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of k we let uh, y of n is equal to x of k hence y of k will be equal to x of k are you getting it so what is that equal to now so that is e going to be equal to 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 magnitude of x of k square so this is what we proved we consider summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 magnitude of x of n square is equal to 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 magnitude of x of k square so this result is very important to solve the numericals is that okay so if you could remember if you look at this expression summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n square it is nothing but expression of energy in time domain which is equal to energy in the frequency domain so we can find energy either in time time domain using this expression or we can find energy uh, in frequency domain using this expression are you getting it so this is what the Parsifal theorem is uh, as I said it is very important uh, the proof one has to know how to prove it and uh, also one should know how to solve the numericals using Parsifal's theorem so we'll consider uh, numericals in the upcoming videos uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel ng classes and if there are any doubts please let me know in the comment section i will definitely answer them thanks for watching